Hello everybody. So today we're just going to take a look at Windows 9. Now a lot of you know about Windows 10 and maybe have seen some previews of Windows 10, but not many of you have actually looked at Windows 9. So that's what we're going to do today. So it starts out with this simple screen where it just says hi. And I think that's one of the best parts about Windows 9 is just the simplicity. Everything is just so simple and it just makes it easy and intuitive. So let's uh, click the next button. So we're going to just go through the setup process. I'm going to click next. So it has this nice welcome to Windows 9. Oh, and then th those things kind of fall away. Okay, and then here you're supposed to enter your social security number. So I'm going to type mine in. Okay, and you click next. Here you choose your language. Um, the default is Chinese, but it's grayed out. So there's not many languages in uh, Windows 9 just because it's sort of an un sort of an early it's in its early stages and they never really finished Windows 9 to its full potential because they just started working on Windows 10 so uh, going to choose English okay so right here Windows needs to download the Windows language pack I mean English needs to download the Windows language pack so just click OK. Right here, it's connecting to the internet, up, inter internet through uh, dial-up connection. I think that's one thing that's great about Windows 9. The default is dial-up, and so it. I think they've just kind of went back to dial-up because I. It, it's just more like simple. Then here to downloading some crap. Alright, so download complete. Would you like to install the Windows Language Pack? The only option is OK, so I'm going to choose it. The download was downloaded from an insecure source. Are you sure you want to continue installation? So just click OK. And then Windows needs your permission to continue. Just click OK. Security warning, cannot run without authorization. Just click OK. Do you want to allow the following program from an untrusted publisher to make changes to his computer. Um, on this one, you actually have to click OK. Alright, so installation failed. I don't think that's that big of a problem. Windows 9 has just great infrastructure. I don't think we have to worry about this. Okay, never mind that installation actually went pretty good and it completed. Alright, right right here we have to enter your name. So my name is Michael. Nice to meet you. Okay, and so you just click next. Okay, it says hello John Smith, we are setting up your desktop. So I guess it just didn't get my name correctly. Uh, Windows 9, like I said, it's in its early stages, so. Alright. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's like the Windows XP login, but with some, it's like revamped. They definitely have some sort of Windows XP feel in this. Alright, so it looks like it already has a profile picture. Um, oh. It says malware detected, Windows Defenders taking action to clean detected malware. Okay, so just click that and it goes away. Okay, so, oh, 9,014 new viruses detected. Windows Defenders getting too weak to fight. Ah, dang. I just click that to go away. So, what should we look at first? Oh, my goodness. Viruses took over, Windows Defender failed to defeat viruses. Well, it seems Windows 9 actually wasn't the most secure. 
and like I've said, it, it's not in an extremely, um, it's extreme great development stages. Alright, so let's take a look at some of these things. This is called their new Metro UI. It's really nice. So let's take a look at sports. Okay, so here it's pulling up from the onion. Rubble courts at tennis Syrian Open presents unique challenge for players. You can see the tennis court here and it's kind of destroyed and they're playing tennis. Okay, so that's th this is um it's a great news source. Um uh, let's take a look at the camera. Oh, okay, so here in the camera app, you can actually uh, shop for cameras. And let's just get through all these, and then we can look at the desktop. Nothing. Okay, this is great. Um, it has some great productivity. Like, here it just shows you the definition of nothing, just in case you needed to know. That's very useful sometimes. All right, so in my mailbox, uh, yeah, dang, yeah, Buttercup, yeah, she's been bothering me about this divorce, you know, divorce papers are attached, don't think about playing more games, uh, I guess I'll just download this, okay, so it's downloaded to my documents, I'll click X out of here, mm, look at maps, wow, so these maps, this UI is just terrific. I mean, this is this is um Texas area right here. So I mean, very detailed maps. All right, lastly, but not leastly, we got our contacts. All right, so we got Buttercup, that's my, you know, person I was my wife and uh my divorce attorney. And this is, uh, you know, and then this is my sister. Sending all contacts your location. That's a nice feature. Just every time you exit or just click on one of the contacts, it will just send your location to all your contacts, just in case they wanted to know. All right. So it looks like we've looked at all of these, so let's head on to the desktop. The desktop is for advanced users only. You sure you want to go? So I would, I mean, the desktop is really, you know, it's for advanced users. And you can't get that mixed up because, you know, it can get, it can get a bit complicated at times in the actual desktop. So let's go ahead and click OK to continue on to desktop. All right, so here is the advanced user desktop. And we've got my computer, my documents, Chrome, Internet Explorer, Exploder, I'm mistaken, that's what they changed it to. Windows 9, we've got Microsoft Word and Microsoft Words, uh, Microsoft Off, Microsoft's Office. So, well, I mean, let's open up my documents since I got my divorce papers in there so here we got divorce papers let's just look at that real quick okay yeah divorce certificate digital okay John Smith and Buttercup mm -hmm. okay oh wow I mean this is just great that they actually built in things to where it reads the stuff that you're looking at and gives you an interactive response to what you're actually doing. That's that's great. That's one great feature I love about Windows 9. Um, NS Docs to leak. I mean, this is kind of stuff you shouldn't look at. All right, let's let's uh, move this off to the side. Open up my computer. Okay, so this is my computer. Simple. No need to worry. I mean, my computer, it's its just so much more simple than the previous version of Windows. They simplified it up by a ton. 
Finally, let's look at Microsoft's Office. Tip, close all windows to improve performance. Yeah, that's a feature of Windows 9. If you have more than three windows open, it gives you this tip, and it's very useful sometimes. So here's Microsoft's Office. You can see he's using a Mac. Okay. So let's just close all these windows because they're getting in the way. Um, let's open up Chrome. Just to show you that works. Chrome is not compatible with ver this version of Windows. Now that's one unfortunate thing. Um, Windows 9, it's not the best with compatibility with different programs. And uh, my name's not Jim. Okay, so since Chrome doesn't work, why not just try Internet Exploder? Hey, okay. Explorer, yeah, this doesn't work either. Um, we can open up Microsoft Word. Connecting to Microsoft Server, uploading key log records, syncing, doing some data mining, transferring personal info to third party companies, initializing Word, loading fonts, loading colors, loading icons. Okay, so here we got Microsoft Word. So I'm just going to type in a s something real quick. So hello, space. Uh. Oh, yeah, Microsoft Word only lets you do one word. It says, oops, you tried to type more than one word. Oh, okay, you can't do that in Microsoft Word. Use Microsoft Words for multi-word support. Okay, so let's let's um exit this going to Microsoft Words. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Loading fonts, loading colors, loading icons. We've got Microsoft Word, right? Microsoft words right here so we can do more than one word so now let's try to type type that sentence um okay so typing more than two words requires a premium membership to Microsoft's office suite okay I mean that's reasonable tip you should buy Microsoft office premium membership because it will help us make money I mean of course and let's just exit out of this. I mean, please buy the premium office membership. We would love to take your money. I'm sure they would. All right. Well, that I mean, that's about all for Windows 9. It's real simple. It makes it very productive. So, let's go ahead and shut down. Oh, okay. Goes straight to the blue screen of death. That's that's no problem. I mean, all right. Well, you can download this um, operating system, uh, Windows Nine, from GitHub. Take a look at the link. Enjoy. Also, this video was inspired by the Computer Clan's YouTube channel. Uh, he has videos called Windows Crap Edition. So check those out as well. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like if you like this video, and thanks for watching.